So, it's me, your little boy, Ike Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, sometimes God have to subscribe, delete, format some categories of people in your life in order for him to add up something. Let me tell you. You know, where is the recharge card I, I bought yesterday? You know? This is a recharge card. If I decide now to subscribe to my phone with this number you are seeing, you know, this is Leica. So if I decide now to subscribe to my phone, you come to understand that I will be able to make a brass subscribe, you know, do internet, do my stuff, etc. But if I refuse to subscribe, you come to understand that I won't be able to do it. I won't be able even to, to do my video pushed my video so that's why you need to understand that there is a reason why god always push people away from you don't don't think that god truly really want to punish you no father up there who wish his or her son to do it to encounter what uh, frustration or who want his or her son to fail in life or who want he, who, who truly want to punish his or her son. But it is, it is something that make what people not to be able to discover mist in which coconut or water enter into coconut. You know, there is something that caused bamboo tree to bend whenever it grew taller than the rest. Yes, believe me. You can never see a bamboo tree bend whereby it's not taller than some categories of bamboo trees before a bamboo tree with do what we bend you come to understand that either is taller than the tallest or taller you know taller than the shortest you know what i'm saying it cannot be the shortest and still bend no i have never seen that so what am i trying to say is this choosing when god delete people from your life don't just think that God truly want to punish you. And let me tell you, a lot of people who God have delayed from your life, it's not by accident. <laughs> because many of them, you know, some guys, let me tell you something. Something that, uh, how will I say it? Okay, let me tell you something. This is, you know, this is a coins. This is a coins. You know, this is a coins, an Italy coins. So, if per venture now, I want to do something, maybe this is all I have. Maybe this is all I have, which is something like uh, 30 something cent here. And you have this also 50, uh, 50 cent. Then I decide now to give out this one. And maybe unknown to me, I don't know that I have this one. And God know that I have this within me. I decide to give out this one. Or maybe God decide to take this one away from me. And I become angry. Oh God, why do you want to take this thing out? God, why do you want to make all my revel in vain? God, why do you want to do this? In a due season, you realize that God truly really wants you to have this. Not this. So what I'm trying to say is this, a lot of people whom God have deleted from your life, whom we are thinking that they have room, they are the purpose, they are the say, they are the author, they are the omega and the omate, they are the this and the that. Believe me, majority of them up there are secretly regretting why they ever leave you. Many of them are secretly regretting why they messed up with you. Many of them are fully regretting why they do it, why they rejected you. You have no idea how many people up there who are still secretly envying, monitoring, you know, monitoring every single thing that you are doing let me tell you choosings there is one thing you need to understand there is a lot of people around you who you may be thinking that they are not regretting why they leave you but the truth is what i'm here to tell you 
they are regretting. Why? Because they are seeing something different in you. They will not tell you what they are going through. They will not tell you that they did mistake. They will not tell you that they made the worst mistake of leaving you. They will not tell you that leaving you is something that they will do. They are regretting. But deep inside them, they are, they, are, they are frustrated because they are fully come to realize that many of them are the cost why you were not progressing before. Because they can see the changes. They can see things changing around you. You know what I'm saying? So that is what you need to understand that God is not a man. So when God removes people from your life, don't see it as a, as, a, what, as a punishment. Rather, see it as a privilege to do it, to elevate. Because God will never hurt you, not destroy you. He has a greater plan. Because he said in his word, the thought I have for you, thought to do you good, not to harm you. Remember, blessed, we go blessed.